Good, Good morning. morning. Yes, it is morning. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to the Muscle of Yarn podcast. We are a yarn store in Shelburne, Vermont, mm-hmm. uh, where we sell all things yarn, woolly, needles, books, all kinds of stuff. Knitting and crochet related. Yes. Um, I don't. You can find us out on all yes. kinds of social media as yeah. Muscle of Yarn uh, and our website, of course, muscleofyarn.com. Uh, we're most active on Instagram and Ravelry yes. and a bit on Facebook, too. Yep. Uh, so be sure to find us there. And I'm yes. Kelly. And I'm Angela. And you can follow me out on social media, Instagram and Ravelry, as Junior Bird Kid. And you can find me on Instagram as Kelly O Spins. And you can find me on Ravelry as Kelly Spins. And be sure to follow us if you want. We'd love to have people friend and follow us on Instagram and Ravelry. We should set up an Instagram account for Gage. Oh, my God. Oh, did you see the adorable meerkats from South Africa that started following us on our Muscle of Yarn Instagram account? No. Because I used the hashtag meerkat. They have their own website, so I'm getting – I'm drilling it for – this is minute. normally something that you would find in the outtakes, and we've just I inserted know, it into it. But it Seriously? just reminded me because they were so adorable. So I'm going to our Muscle of Yarn account. I think it's Ploopy the Meerkat, which is oh, hilarious. I'm going to have to go follow them. Yep, Ploopy the Meerkat. Um, so it's Ploopy underscore the underscore Meerkat. And oh my god. <laughs> They're real Meerkats. Um, that's Ploopy under the covers um and they're in south africa and they have their own instagram page (laughs) i have to go find that right now because i'll forget later yeah so if you want some adorable meerkat um pictures go to ploopy the meerkat i have to go find them right now they are so sweet look at that (laughs) so yeah, I just, I when I saw that, I was like, oh my god, there's meerkats following us. That That is awesome. They are so adorable. <laughs> so now that I've totally, totally derailed, and look at, I'm stuck over here in Instagram. And, and just stuck over there. Um, but anyway, what I was saying is just, we love to have you guys friend or follow us, either our personal accounts, which sometimes have food or mostly knitting but um food or kids or outside activities that kind of thing um and dogs and pets and animals all kinds um and then our muscle of yarn account is just dedicated to store things um store events yarn that kind of thing so um, i think gage needs his own instagram account that would be really funny we'll we'll set that up we should yeah gage's adventures Mm -hmm. (laughs) mm-hmm Adventures mm-hmm. engage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll we'll set one up mm-hmm. and we'll we'll let you know. We'll let you know. Yeah, because that'd be super fun. Because Gage can go lots of places. He certainly can. He sh- she. I'm gonna give Gage a she pronoun. Gage gonna be she. Yeah. Okay. Um, she should have her own Instagram page. Okay. Yeah. All okay. right. We'll okay. say Gage is she. Mm-hmm. There are places on a lot of um social media sites now where they include your your pronoun pronouns preference. yeah i've noticed that popping up more and more yep absolutely anyway so, anyway <laughs> we like to start our podcast yes. with a pick of the week yes and because this is rhinebeck weekend so we're we usually record on thursday this is thursday morning because we are have so much stuff to do to get ready before we head out and I also wanted to be able to edit and post mm-hmm. this video. So it's going to get posted this afternoon. Um, normally Friday morning is when the video goes live, but mm-hmm. I'm we're going to be on the road to Rhinebeck. We are. And I've already used all of my data linking my phone to my iPad to post things to YouTube. <laughs> um, so And we need the, po- the iPad. Right. Because we're going to do some more Q&A right. filming. So otherwise I would have just set it, and then if it wasn't ready in the morning on Friday, I would have just done the weekend without my iPad, which is right. totally fine. So are you going to schedule it to, so it goes live on Friday morning, or are you going to just let it do its thing? I think I was just going to let it do its thing. Okay. 
So it'll post a little early for you guys. A little oh. treat. A little fancy. Like That's like two weeks in a row I think it's going to be posted early. Yeah. Last week it was just really early in the morning. Yeah. Um. Uh, so anyway, our pick of the week is quite special this week because yes. we wanted to offer something a little different. We only did one pick for you. Well, technically two yarns. Yes. But we did one pick between the two of us. Mm-hmm. And we normally do 10% off whatever the in-stock yarns are. This week, you guys, we're doing 20% off. Yep. Just, just, well, it's for two, the, the, it runs for two weeks. Mm-hmm. So you have two weeks. Um, so any of the yarns that we show that are in stock, you get 20% off Yep. your order. Yep. Whether it's online or in store. Yep. Um, yeah. So we wanted to do this as a little celebration for the New York Sheep and Wool, but also as a <laughs> little just if you can't go. We know that there's a lot of people, there's a lot of people that can't go to Rhinebeck. Mm-hmm. We're fortunate that it's about a three and a half hour drive for us. So yes. it's not too bad. Yep. And um, and we can usually make it happen. This year we have some awesome employees who are. Yeah, we're all going to go. Are making it so that the whole weekend that the owners can have our the weekend away, which this is great. Is the because first we time. actually do business meetings yeah. and stuff when we're away too. This is the first time we've all been able to go for the whole weekend since we opened the store. That's right. That's right. We hadn't, have we? Mm-mm. Right. Last time we all got to go was the Rhinebeck right before the store opened. That's right. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Twenty fifteen. Yep. Mm-hmm. So we're really excited. That's right. Yeah. That's that's I know. Tr- very true. So yes, we are very excited. Um, and we've got awesome employees that, that are gonna make that happen for us. Yes. Um so we're gonna spoil them, of course, like rotten. Uh, yeah. Um but because that's what we do. Um yeah. and you guys too. I mean, you know we're gonna be bringing back prizes. Oh yeah. So <clears throat> as we do. As we do. Um, so our pick of the week, if you're in the mood for doing some shawl knitting or some accessory knitting, we've got some great yarns for you. And we've done these before, but they're luscious and they're beautiful and there's some great fall colors in here. Mm-hmm. So we wanted to um, make these available for you guys at 20% off yeah. as a Rhinebeck celebration. Whether yeah. you can go or whether you can't go, you're welcome to these. So we have picked Ba Yarns New York, which is a single ply, and mm-hmm. Ba Yarns Savannah, which is applied yarn. Um, and the, let me give you the details. Yeah. Um, the New York is 100% superwash merino. It's 100 grams and about 400 yards. Um, and they retail for $29. So you get 20% off of that. That's a great deal. And we've got lots of gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Well, more in the savannah, but this is what we have left, these four colors. And we have more than just one skein of each of these. Yeah. Um, But we have those. Look at that gold in there. I love that. Yeah, it's beautiful. So pretty. And then look at this one when the pops of hot pink. Ugh, so pretty. And then the other yarn. So if I leave those four out, <clears throat> all of these colors that are left are the savannah. And the savannah, oh my goodness, this is a cashmere blend yarn. It's 10% cashmere, 10% nylon, and 80% superwash uh, merino. It's a really, really soft yarn. Um, it's really lovely. It's a nice high twist yarn. Uh, it's two ply, and it's 400 yards um, and 100 grams. And these normally retail for $35, so you get 10% off of that. 20%? I mean, sorry, 20%. So you're just saying 10%. 20% off of that. So yeah. that's a really good deal. What's that? That's $7. like $7. So you'd end up um, paying twenty eight for these regular twenty eight on sale. So yeah, and it's a, a good... really lovely cashmere yarn. And look at the look at that. Oh, I love that orange. Orange is so beautiful. And the gold. There's some great fall colors in here. There's a really fun one that has just a little bit of speckling. Mm-hmm. There's a beautiful blue. So that's what you guys get twenty percent off these awesome yarns. So if you are looking to make, there's some great shawls. Some mm-hmm. Stephen West has released a couple of new ones. He's got well, some mystery have, like, knits going on. Um, Hohe slow curves. Yeah, like, any oh, of these. That, like, isn't that lovely? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So I think Andrea's digging the blue. She grabbed two of them. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. Um, so don't mind me. <laughs> we are gonna do our 
discount code that you put into the when you're in, in the checkout is going to be weekly pick Rhinebeck Rhine this year. Yes. This year. This, this pick. This pick. This week. This week. This week. Um, yeah. So you've got two weeks to use that code on the Ba Yarns, the Fingering Weight Ba Yarns. Mm -hmm. um, the link is going to be in show notes, which yep. will, if you're watching in YouTube, is going to be uh, a link to that will be below the video. Yep. And um, use Weekly Pick. Yep. Rhinebeck, and if you have any questions about where that code goes, episode 73, we did a tutorial and inserted yep. a tutorial in there of where that code goes. Yep. And um, if you want to use it in store, just let the let whoever's working know, and yep. um, you'll get the discount. Absolutely. So. Super fun. I know. Super fun. I can't wait. I'm eyeballing that blue. <laughs> <laughs> so there may not be any blue left, but you know. Well, look at look at your your blue that you're using. I know. Look it. Aren't you sick of that blue yet? No. I kind of <laughs> like it. It's really beautiful, but sometimes if I've knit with something for a while, then I'm like, oh, I need a new color. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm glad you're not bored with it. I'd just like to get this sleeve done. <laughs> So I can. It's the sleeve, not the color. <laughs> so I can perhaps wear this sweater this mm -hmm. weekend because it is going to be sweater weather. It is. It is today. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. It's windbreaker totally. weather today. So what are you wearing today? I am and wearing it. again my Paris in Berlin, and this is using Legacy Fiber Arts Jumpin' Jellyfish on their strong toes, strong socks, strong steel toes, steel toes. Steel toes. That's the one. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Fiber stash has a strong toes. Yes. This is steel toes. And it's really lovely. And it's got so many colors in it. I wear it with everything. Yeah. People are going to get so sick of me wearing Well, that's this. the thing with some <laughs> of these speckled yarns is it can go with so many different things. I know. I had it on with an orange sweater last week, and it looked great. And today I have, like, a pink shirt and a cream look. It's not a cream vest suit, but it's a cream sweatshirt. <laughs> uh, always. We'll probably see the cream vest soon. I can't wait, Sue. I know. All right. I know. So, what are you? Oh, you have your very Ooh, pretty. You got, look have, at all the knits you have. I know, because it's cold out there, She's guys. She's layering. I'm, I'm getting ready. I was saving mine for a Ryan Beck. I'm like, I'm going to need them all. Well, <laughs> I was de I was debating, because um, I'm probably going to have to bring some extras just in case I don't finish mm -hmm. swag. So I have my On the Sparse Market. Sparse, 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 sparse Market. <laughs> on the Spice <laughs> Market shawl. Yeah. It just went out. We actually have pretty good it's light. It's pretty good light. Pretty good natural light. just leave it. I think so, because it'll go out again. Yeah. Um, so I have my mm. On the Spice Market shawl. So this is knit from yarn that I got from Gail's Art. So if you are going to Rhinebeck. You keep talking. Um, I'm pretty sure that she's probably going to have this. This is um, her uh, M-Y-S Merino Yak Silk, I think is what it is. I don't know. I can't remember. It's lovely yarn. So anyway, so I have the mini skein kit that she had. Mm -hmm. And the, I think it's crushed berries colorways. Uh, and then with just That's a gray. So, uh, so check out her booth. She's going to be at uh, the New York Sheep and Wool Festival. And yes. she's got beautiful yarn. She's usually um, up on the hill, kind of where the farm barns yep, are. Back in the barns. Um, I will definitely probably be hitting up her stall. Cause even though we'll I, be looking for a wild skunk there. Yes. That's where we saw her last year. Yes. Um, so I have that on. I also have my um, confetti fade on. So this is the confetti pattern, uh, which I just faded with a bunch of fingering weight yarn. I love the way it came fun. out. Thank you. It's so pretty. Uh, for, and I've linked to my pattern page. So if you want to see what yarns I used for this, um, you can find it over there. Excellent. Yeah. So I may bust this one out and bring it with me. Uh, Cause it's warm. That's the thing with hand knits. If there's uh, wool in them at all, they're they're a lot warmer. And if you're out walking around, like probably I could do this yeah. with like a puffy vest and be fine. 
Well, and that's so. the thing, too, because then if it, like, warms up during the afternoon, even if you get a little bit warm, mm -hmm. they breathe and mm -hmm. they wick moisture, so yeah. it's you still stay warm. Yep. Which is awesome. Absolutely. And, you know, Rhinebeck gets weird because you're, if you're in and out of the building, so yeah. the buildings could be really hot, yep. and then once you step <laughs> outside, it would be kind of chilly, um, so... Yeah, with that many people packed in buildings. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's where the people will be if it's cold. Yeah. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit more calm this year than last year because the weather's going to be cooler and there's a chance of rain. Which has a rain. rain on Saturday, I think. Yeah. So last year it was 80 degrees and... Um, there was tons of people there. Lots of people. And I think a lot of people who are just coming out for something to do on the weekend who may not necessarily be interested in the knitting part of yep. things, the fiber part of things, which is totally, totally fine. fine. It's a... It's a fun you know, festival. Build as, as a family festival, so. There's lots of other things. There's a whole booth, <laughs> or a whole booth. There's a whole building that's just f local food and Food and, and like, art. And art, art stuff. Art. And, it's, and, yeah, jewelry and. Mm -hmm. Cooking hand, demonstrations. And, yeah, like, wood utensils. Like, there's some really. That's one really, of my favorite stalls. I know, me too. I always hit, I hit that stall every year when we're there and yeah. buy some more wood spoons. There's some really cool stuff in, in that building. Yeah. That's fun. I think that's building E. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is. See, we know. We, so we've been, it's so we've sad. been there long enough that we're like, oh, that's building E. Yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah, so we like going to that building. There's, oh, that's when you got the, um, was it Brandy or no, it wasn't. Yeah, it's, was called, it brandy? it's called Hedda. It's yes. mold spiced brandy. That's right. That you serve warm. They have local wines in there. Yeah. They've got a lot of stuff. So. so funny story about that. <laughs> have you still not opened it? No. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I, every year I'm like, I should open that like when it gets to be this time of year. And then I just forget. That's so, so funny. So Maybe I, you should bring it with Well, I was you. <laughs> thinking about it. Will we? But I mean, it's going to, it's alcohol. So it's going to, even if it's opened, it's going to be fine. Yeah. I'll bring it with me. Um, so I bought it. The last time we all went to Ryan Beck, so 2015. <laughs> was it? Th that was when you got it? Yeah. So oh. I got it, and then I got home, and then I found out I was pregnant with Abigail. Oh, that's right. And then, so that whole winter, it didn't get consumed for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. um, and then it kind of got shoved to the back, and I kind of forgot that it was there. <laughs> and then the next winter came, and I think I just, stuff was crazy, and I wasn't really, I was like, oh, right, I should bust that out, and then I just didn't do it. Um and then this next winter, the next winter was the same thing. Like, I knew it was there, and I kept thinking, like, over the holidays, like, Thanksgiving. Oh, I know what happened. I was going to yeah. bust it out when my parents were here, and then my dad got sick. And so oh, there was, like, some right. other stuff yeah. that happened. And then Christmas was, like, weird. And so I just haven't I haven't done it. So I have this unopened bottle of Hedda, which is amazing. If you have a chance to go into Building E and try a sample of it, highly recommend it. It's, um, it's <laughs> delicious. <laughs> So I'll bring it with us. We should crack it open like three years later. <laughs> hey, it'll be a celebration of all of us being back together. Again. Absolutely. There you go. Perfect. I know. I planned that. No. <laughs> Clearly not. <gasps> oh, and then I don't have to stop and buy another bottle of wine. I'll bring my one bottle of wine and the head and we'll be all good. There you go. Sweet. Okay. I think we all have wine. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> um, uh. So... <laughs> Okay. Okay. So we totally just derailed ourselves. We did. Um, mm -hmm. but that's which okay. is going to be the th name of the game. Derailed on the way to Rhinebeck. <laughs> Let's hope not. <gasps> yeah. Um. All right. Finished objects. Finished objects. You, why don't you start? Because I see your stack over there. So I'll start with my wee little one. So every year when we go to Rhinebeck, we put together a little knit kit. Um, for our bus riders. So this year I made this little little gift card holder because I I don't always like giving gift cards, but sometimes it's the easiest thing if mm -hmm. you don't know what to get somebody. And if you've got a husband like mine who's very, very, very particular, sometimes it's easier just to give him a gift card mm -hmm. and and say, here you go, you go pick you out, what, out you what you want. And so I, I thought it would be fun to have a little gift card holder that was kind of fancy and because we all like to knit and usually our loved ones <laughs> know that we like to knit it's kind of just a fun way of adding an extra little I love you to your gift or for those of you who are following along <clears throat> the gauge game 
the pocket meerkat game. Look who fits perfectly in here. It's a sweater for your pocket meerkat. So, you know. So I have this little pattern and um, our bus riders are getting that um, with some yarn and a button. Look at the cute little button they put on there. Um, so I will make this available for free on Ravelry. Oh, that's so um, nice. It may not happen until after Rhinebeck weekend, depending on <laughs> how much I get done today. But um, but keep an eye out for that. I will. Um, it's it's super easy. So awesome. Yep. And I just used some Noro yarn. So it was fun. Nice. So that's one, and that was super quick. I did it in like half an hour. <laughs> it's okay. It's still an FO. It still counts. That's right. <clears throat> Do you want me to keep going? Uh, sure. Because you've got a pile. All right, I'll show my next thing because these were kind of quick. Well, sort of, but um, in terms of knitting, they were. So I finally this weekend had some time to sit down with my circular sock knitting machine and play with the river and get that figured out. And so far for me, because I've, I've only just made two pairs of socks with it, um, with the river, that is, I've made more than that on the machine itself. Um, it's still a little bit in that fussy stage. I'm sure people that have been doing it for years can just fly through it. Um, so I just did the, so the top is a little bit wavy, but obviously when you're wearing them, you're never ever going to see the ripply part to the top. Um, and, and, you know, of course it just kind of pulls in. So I did a one by one rib and I didn't realize it, but, um, they actually ended up sending me um, a 60 needle ribber and I have a 60 needle cylinder so I can actually do a bunch of different kinds of ribs I can do mm. one by one I can do two by two I can do three by one as long as it's a multiple that you know divides Works evenly into 60, 60. Um, I can do all kinds of different ribbing because cool. I thought I was getting a 30 needle ribber but oh. I know so this is one pair of socks. This is some um, Patton's Croy that I did, and they don't match because, well, I mean, they're the same yarn, but the um, stripes don't match. line up because of where the ball started and end, and I didn't have enough extra that I could make them line up because they're smaller skeins, and I used quite a lot of the skein. Um, so, but they're still fun. They are fun. The Patton's Croy is kind of nice because it's a much thicker sock yarn, so they make a really heavy... Um, a really heavy. It's also pleasure. pretty hard wearing, so it's yeah. one of those ones that can go in the wash machine and the dryer, and it's just yeah, it's kind of it's a workhorse. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's great for kids stuff. It's great for socks. Yeah, like, yeah. I I I like the patterns, yeah. so and very affordable too. Hmm. Yeah. So there's my ribbing, you guys. Look, I did one by one just to test it out. So so I did those, and then I did these. So this is the new Regia that I had mentioned. Ooh. So the Regia Rainbow is the line, and obviously some of them, this is like, I think, Blue Rainbow or something. Um, and they worked out really well. So I did one of the color repeats just for the ribbing. So it's a shorter ribbing. I could have probably done two, but I didn't want to end in the middle because it, it looks kind of funny. Um, and then, oh, I was so close. Look at that. The heel used almost all except for like one little row, but I matched it. So, cause these are perfect. The Regia perfect yarns. Nice. Um, so I'm, I did, they matched perfectly. And, um, so yep, I did heels, toes and cuffs on all on the machine. And then I did one by one ribbing up there again. So, um, so that took me a little bit longer and it was a little bit fussier. So it um, slowed down my, my sock making progress a little bit, but two pair of socks in a weekend. Sweet. I know. Um, yeah. Do you want to talk about yours or do you sure. want to keep going? No, I've got I'll one go. more. I was. I'll I was go just... and then we can, because I only have one. Okay. And a half. And a half. Look. It's Yay. done. It's got... It's so bands. Pretty. I have not blocked these, so mm -hmm. these will relax quite a bit. They once don't it look gets that blocked. bad, though. I thought it, no, no, they're not bad. Um, so continuing with my, I cannot pick up button bands. Oh dear. Um, one. So 
I had done one, but it was clear that it did one I had not picked up far enough into this. So mm. it was puckering. And I also apparently had not picked up enough stitches. Mm-hmm. So I ripped out the first version and then made sure that I picked up, I think I did two rows in on the color work. Because sometimes with this color work, the edges are yep. rough. Um, so I overcompensated on the first one, and I can't remember which side it was at this point, and picked up probably what is literally way too many stitches. Which I then could not recreate on the other side. So the second side has somewhere between the two less and the two many. And I just figured it doesn't matter and nobody's going to be able to tell. Most sweaters, you pick up three for every four. This called for five for every seven. Oh, wow. Yeah, which okay. was, I was having a hard time with the math. <laughs> Like, this is not working well. So I'm just going to wing it and do what I want. Hence why I end up um, knit, re-knitting button bands like seven times. Mm. Um, but for something like this, which actually doesn't have buttons on it, I figured it just didn't matter. <laughs> so it has finished edges. There still is a chance that after I wear it, if I don't like it, I may rip it out and do one or both of them again. Yeah, that's really nice. But I'm not... Um, you can tell, I think down at the bottom... Yeah, one one of them is this one. Oh yeah, a little bit off on the number of stitches. Yeah. And if you were to like, they don't match because there's going to be more on one side mm. than the other. But uh, you're not going to be able to tell because it's an open cardigan. So what I do for yeah. when I'm picking up, yeah, Kelly's going to drop some knowledge on. So if it was five for seven that mm-hmm. you needed to do, what I would do is I would pick up three stitches I'd Mm -hmm. skip one pick up two skip one and I do that Mm -hmm. all the way until you get towards the top and then you can kind of fudge fudge the numbers a little bit and then I do the same thing going down the other side so that you'll have because your sides should be even because Mm -hmm. you knit it at the same time at at the same time one one piece think your uh, your sides would be even yeah so you'd end up (laughs) not always the case right but you'd end up with the same number of right. stitches if you did that same exact thing right. on the other side. Right. Or when I pick up, so if it was like a th- three for every four, I'll pick up three, skip one, pick, pick up three, three skip, skip one. one. Yep. And then you don't have to count, and then it keeps mm-hmm. your numbers the same. Sometimes you have to fool with it a little bit like this because you have um, the rib where you need a certain number. Right. you did have to have a number that was divisible by eight. Right. Which clearly I can't do math because this one's wrong. <laughs> So just a little tip for you. So, and a lot of times, you know, I'll kind of get close to what the the um, pattern designer says, yeah. but sometimes you can you can play with those numbers a little bit. Well, what I what I had two extra stitches over here, and when I was doing the math, instead of adding two more stitches, so I had the right number divisible by eight, I decreased by two. So that's why. No, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. But it's at the bottom of the sweater, and I don't at this point. I, I may fix it later, but I think it's probably not going to bother me at all. No, you don't really notice it. Because that kind of stuff, you just, it's not. I mean, and somebody would have to be staring at you and be like, what's that like, your sweater? And like counting. Yeah. Like if somebody's standing that, is that intrigued with my sweater that they're counting the number of rib ridges on the fronts <laughs> of my cardigan, like you need to step away anyway because <laughs> it's just a little weird. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, but it looks anyway. beautiful, though. Thank you. It's really I'm beautiful. I'm super excited. I love the colors you picked. Um, thank you. I was trying to figure out when I was going to wear it, and I was kind of thinking that Saturday would probably be the better day to wear it, because if it's going to be a little chance of rainy, mm. having a 100% wool sweater is probably yeah. going to be the better option. Um, but that would mean I'd have to either really get hurried up and finish the sleepwear <laughs> on Friday, which is not going to happen, um, or wear something else tomorrow. Mm-hmm. So I, I might wear this again. So I'm just giving you a heads up. Like, yeah, I'm going to wear a sweater two days in a row. Who cares? People deal with it. Or I was going to maybe grab Sing Winter because mm, I haven't so. worn that one in a while. There you go. Or I have the green monster at home, too. <laughs> <laughs> I may just grab that one. Hmm. Yeah, you could grab that. It'll be nice and cozy. Yeah. That would also be a good option for Saturday. Mm Mm-hmm. 
Sing Winter. Uh, uh, no, the Green Monster. Oh, Green Monster. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, Sing Winter, too. Sing but, Winter, yeah. too. Yeah. So, I don't know. Decisions. But I have to decide soon, because if I'm going to take Sing Winter, I need to take it with me when I go. Right. Green Monster's at home. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, good times. So what else? You got so, one more thing over there. I have one more thing. It's not blocked yet. I told my husband I would block it when I got home. But, ta-da! Ta-da! Sigma is done! Whoa! It's done. That's it's amazing. Done. So he tried it on last night when he got home, and it fits perfectly. Yay! Good job. Way and, to get uh, Gage, Kelly. Oh, way to get <laughs> um, well, thankfully, I had knit this once before for myself, so I didn't have to worry about it too much. Um, but I did make some adjustments. One, I didn't put the color work on the sleeve, which I had mentioned I was probably going to leave off. Two, I added two inches to the body um, for him. Yeah. And um, I added, I think, like an inch to the sleeves. So he's not super tall, um, and he's not like a really big guy either, but... You know, he does have different proportions. So I, um, but it's a nice, it's just a basic yoke sweater, um, no shaping in the body. So, you know, I I didn't have to adjust any of that. Um, So I really like the colors that he picked for this. It came out well. And I did, he only wanted um, three colors. There is a really dark blue that it's a little bit harder to see on screen up there. It is. Um, Sorry. That's all right. Um, but there, this pattern actually has a fourth color that you do in here, but he just wanted the three, so. And it looks great with the three. Yeah, it does. So, I like those blues. I don't it. know what he would have, to stay with the blue palette, I don't, what would he do, was there a fourth blue? No, not that, not yeah. that fit with these. Yeah. Like, there's kind of a greeny blue, um, but it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been the same kind of colors right. as these. I think the, those shades <laughs> look perfect. Yeah. And, I think it was a good choice. Yep. To only so. go with a three. So. Yep. So I uh, I got Siglet for Bob done, and I will take pictures of him in it when I get it blocked, and probably when I get back from Rhinebeck this weekend. Well, I told him I block it today when I got home so that he could wear it over the weekend. <gasps> a knot! She found a knot. That's why she's giving me the face. Um, I'm also trying to decide if I'm just going to knit through the knot. <laughs> don't do sometimes. knit through the knot. <laughs> you, don't. You know I want do to. Do it. <laughs> you know I want to. I know you do, but you know you don't have to pull that many stitches out. No, I don't. But I would. But the um, four that I have to pull out right here are cable stitches. Oh. That's not enough to weave in. Dang it. All right. <sighs> I'll pull it back. Good. Um, I have a half object. Yay! <laughs> it's so cute. It's a tube sock. A little mess. Yes. Uh, so this was a um, some leftovers. So I actually have socks that I knit for myself out of this. And then I, with the leftovers, I was trying to knit a shorty sock, and it was clear that I did not have enough for a pair of shorty socks, even if I did heels and toes out of a separate color so I ripped it completely back and decided to just knit some tube socks Excellent. for a little person so there's one and I did cast on the second one it's a wee. and now I'm probably gonna knit on this <laughs> um, since I have to deal with that knot yeah. in the zwag there so this is uh, I need a project that can, I can use for just walking around. Um, or, like, if we're if I'm sitting down at Rhyme, Rhinebeck or... Waiting in line to get lunch. <laughs> yeah, it's a perfect time to, like, bust out something. But I need something where I can uh, essentially knit on it without looking. I was considering casting on a sock head hat. That's... Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I literally have not gotten my act together and would need to wind some yarn, and I'm having a hard time getting any of that stuff done. Mm. So, uh, just it's a time issue. So, I'm just going to have to go with what I've got, uh, which is why when I finish Zwag, I probably am going to pick up Boxy, because it's already all wound up on the needles and sort of yeah. in progress. So. Yeah. 
And lots of stock in it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's already in my knitting bag. Um, so. Perfect. 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 Excellent. So you have another sock on the go. So I have another sock on the go, which is good, because it's always nice to have something on the go. Mm -hmm. Um, I do... So I finished the sleeve, guys. Look. One done. One done. Yay! And so I did use the darker skein. You can kind of tell a little bit. I think when it's on, you're not going to be able to tell at all. Yeah. When you hold the two balls next to each other, you can... You can definitely tell, but I think the patterning breaks yeah, I was up gonna the say, color I, difference. I really don't see a huge difference between them. But if I do this, maybe in this darker light, you can. Or <laughs> just on. Oh yeah, see. Yeah, you can when you do that. That's They're really funny. Two different colors. Yeah. This is definitely more of a navy. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. This is my rogue skein. Um, so there, it's clearly different. Yeah, but I really don't notice it on the sleeve. So I did the darker navy here in the ribbing. And yeah. Which is funny. I see, like, this part looks darker, but then there's, like, some there's little some bands. Yeah. But the rest of it you don't really But notice. I think overall, between the patterning and the ribbing, like, it's yeah. just, it's not going to be noticed. So no. anybody who's new, <laughs> I had used the darker up here at the top. Mm-hmm because I knew I was going to have all this color work to break it apart Mm -hmm. and then use the other because I had basically three skeins of the ones that all were the same probably dye lot and one that um, was not and I purchased it all because I didn't take it out to the sunlight to look just you know one of those things so I'd just been waiting to find something that I could use it for Um, but then I was worried about running out of the main color and so my idea was to do all the ribbing and the darker color Mm -hmm. so I still have the bottom ribbing to do because I didn't want to do the 300 and some stitches here to find out that it wasn't going to look good so I tested it on a sleeve it's going to be fine Um, so now I can take care of this ribbing and then I just need to finish the sleeve so I think I'm going to prioritize the sleeve because if I get the sleeve done I could wear this with like some tube and end caps on it Another or just put cord, some waist yarn in, or something. Yeah, or waist yeah. yarn. Um, so the bottom ribbing is <laughs> probably less important mm-hmm. at this point than having a second sleeve. Yep. So, oh right, but I need to deal with that knot. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. So we'll see. Stay tuned to see if I finish my sweater to be able to wear it this weekend. If I don't, it's so close. So, it's... I am. I think you. Well, and she's got the car ride. I do. She's got the car ride. I do, but I always grossly overestimate how much knitting I can get done in the car. I know. I did the same thing. But you don't have kids that you have to, like, talk to in the back seat. This is true. I mean, you can talk to me in the back seat. This is true. And I Um. will have a little bit of time to work on it after the kids go to bed. And I've already, tonight, and I've already knit one sleeve. So I do find that generally my second sleeves go faster because Mm -hmm. I've... um, already kind of got the rhythm down mm-hmm. um, well you can make it your sunday rhinebeck sweater we usually only hang out for a few for hours. a couple hours at Rhine, yeah. on rhinebeck on sunday well but and sunday opens at nine now i know it used to be 10 so, so we can go and hang like out for like three hours noon, yeah we leave usually leave noon. around between noon and one is yeah. usually when we leave and then we're back before dinner before dinner yeah um so yeah maybe it's, maybe i'll have to just say that's going to be my sunday sweater and maybe I'll wear this on Friday and then like green monster on Saturday or maybe I'll just wear this one twice ain't not, no nothing wrong with wearing it two days in a row no why not why not why not um there's no knitting police there are no knitting police no one's gonna stop you and say oh my god you wore that yesterday did you wear that yesterday I'll be That's like, like <laughs> yes yes I did my large time been wearing it almost nonstop. I decided not to wear it today even though it's really cold because I will probably wear that on Saturday yeah. because that has the big collar on it mm-hmm. so I'll be able to stay nice and warm I can just pull up the collar Friday I'm thinking I might wear my Nanilchik tomorrow or my autumn Lee slash winterly sweater. Because we won't be outside a lot tomorrow. Mm-mm. So. Hmm. I think I am definitely bringing this. This has, with this silk, silk is so warm. Yeah. Maybe I'll wear my autumn Lee and this. Ooh. 
because I can wear this with orange. There's little pops of orange in there. I really wanted to finish that swag because I have a shawl that's the same, like, burnt orange color mm. that would look beautiful with that. I got to yeah. step it into high gear. <laughs> anyway. So, anyway, I only have one project that I've been working that I actually just cast on this morning um, because I wanted something that I could knit on in the car and knit on pay, not pay attention to yeah. um, and that is a sock head slouch hat because it's super easy except I am doing a modification um, so I have knit this before and knit it pretty much as written um, with 2 by 2 ribbing at the bottom and then it has a folded brim so you do lots of two by two ribbing mm -hmm. but I wanted to do one with a folded hem um, mm -hmm. so that's what I'm gonna be doing and I didn't do a provisional cast on I'm I find it just as easy to pick up the little cast on bumps yeah. um, when you fold the hem and catch those yep. um, and it saves a step of having to do a provisional yep. and um, sometimes I do a provisional but it depends on what I'm doing and you can also sew that clothes later, too, if you... I could. I find it just, just as easy, easy to pick it up. Yeah. Um, just pick up into the, the cast-on edge. Yep. Um, so I am... You can't see very much of it yet. But I'm using this beautiful... My my yarn did not want to ball very beautifully today, so sorry for the messy skein. But I am using this uh, gorgeous single ply merino. Um, it is a Stranded Dye Works yarn. This was her Christmas colorway for this year um, called Naughty List. And I found out Amy is actually going to be at Rhinebeck this year, which I didn't realize. So I'm oh, looking cool. forward to meeting her. And um, maybe I can talk to her about her sock knitting machine because I know she has one because she cranks out. Nice. Sock tubes. I don't know. I haven't been able to catch up with her podcast in a while, so I don't know if she's attempted heels and toes on hers yet. I know she had been just hand knitting those into it. Um, but anyway, so that'll be fun to catch up with her and um, and meet her in person. Nice. So um, that is what I am I'm working on, and it's fun. It's a really pretty kind of minty bluey green yarn and then it's got these pops of red and when it overlaps with the green it makes a really pretty kind of purpley color so see messy skein look at that Ugh. <laughs> but I'm knitting from the outside so it won't be an issue Sh shouldn't be an issue should be, should be fine when I'm famous last this. knitting words it'll be fine or that will block <laughs> out <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The nice thing with knitting, you can always pull it out. You it's can. not fun to do, but it's you can do it. Pretty forgiving. It is. Most yarns, yeah. unless you're working with mohair, and then. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just I'm excited to go this weekend mm -hmm. and just look and catch up with people. And catch up with That's people. really fun for me. Yeah. Um and see what every oh I love people watching it is the best place to go and people watch if you're a knitter because you can look at all of the sweaters and shawls and yeah it's so funny you know what like groups either went together or like planned what they what because like you'll, you'll see this see. pack of people and they all have the same sweater on and you're or like the Ooh. Hat or, or the same yeah, yeah the bobble hat a couple years ago mm -hmm. um the Donna Smith one that was a Shetland wool week mm -hmm. hat um, everybody had it one year and then Sunset Highway was really popular last, last year. year and yep. then the year before oh gosh there was a it was a color works was it no cable sweater and it everybody had cables. done it it was a cable sweater everybody had done it in a different color and it was so cool and they did a group shot anyway yeah. there, it's really really fun you can see so many cool things and it's the it's like the one place where you can walk up to somebody and be like oh, I love your sweater, you know, what's the pattern or what's the yarn or whatever, and people don't look at you sideways. Yeah. <laughs> I was standing in line once a few years ago. I think it was 2015 when we were there because it was a Sunday. I was wearing water and stone. Mm -hmm. And I'm standing in line to purchase somebody, and I hear from the back of the line. Purchase somebody? I mean, purchase something. <laughs> you can't buy people You there. can't buy people there. <laughs> Kelly bought a bunny once, but that's a whole other story. Um <laughs> I'm standing in line to purchase some things. It may have been Miss Babs. I think it would have been Sunday because it wouldn't have been as crazy yeah. that many three years ago. So I'm standing in line waiting to purchase a couple of things for Miss Babs. And I hear from the back of the line, hey, water and stone. <laughs> 
And I kind of turned around, and they were like, your sweater's awesome! <laughs> and I was like, that is so cool. Is it, that's the year you got a picture with Hohe too, isn't it? That was the oh, next that was the next year because the next year. Okay. That, uh, that I don't know. They're starting to blend together. I'd have to go back and look. Yeah. It's kind of fun I because there's a lot of um a lot of times you can you can see the designers at Yes, it was cuz I think that Saturday I had gathered together on and I must have yep. worn uh Water and Stone, Stone Sunday, okay. the next day. Because um, Water and Stone, is that a Vera? I think so. That's a Vera. Yeah. That's the one I knit out of the tart. Mm. Oh, the yeah. The Natosh tart. That's the red one. Mm-hmm. Where's that one? I should hunt that's that right one there. up. Is it on? Oh, it's on yeah, the Yeah, it's model. on the mail. Maybe I'll take that one. <laughs> <laughs> and I, it looks so beautiful with your hitchhiker that you made. You should take them both. They look so pretty together. Okay, I'll take them both. The store's not going to have any samples in it. I, all, apparently, all of my sweaters are here. <laughs> yes, they are. <gasps> uh, all right. I'm taking Water and Stone back, um, at least for the weekend, and Hitchhiker, and I will wear the two of them together. They are really pretty together. Okay. See? We're just we go. putting your wardrobe together for you. Sweet. Excellent. Sweetness. So. Yes. What else um, we got? The Rhinebeck bus is... It's closed. The registration is closed because we have to get the goodies and everything off to the person who's going to be handing them out. Yep. And um, everybody's going to have a fun time going yeah, down. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. We put together some really fun things for their goodie bags. Yes, we did. Super fun. Um, so Unwind, the retreat, there are mm-hmm. still some slots open. Uh, we're probably going to have to pick a date at some point here when in the next it. month or so where we just close the registration mm-hmm. uh, so we can continue planning and uh, do day passes and things. So mm-hmm. we haven't decided on what that date is. It's it's possible it could be the end of the year, but we will have to close our registration. So if you're kind of on the fence that so you're thinking about it, don't wait too long. Yep. Because uh, the slots are, they are going. Yeah, they um, are. But there's still a few available, so if it's something you'd like to come join us um, in. And we know the timing was tough for some people. Yeah. Um, but we so do have plans um, to do a, a, a summer, summer retreat, yep. um, which we know would be uh, easier because we've got a lot of people who are teachers, teachers yep. um, that can't get away during yep. the regular year and um, the school year, I should say. And, yep. And... Um, So, and we are very mindful of that. And I know a lot of people just had different activities and things that were happening that weekend. Um, We've gotten some messages about that. And so don't worry, you guys, we will, um, we will definitely keep you guys in mind and we will um, start planning a a warmer weather one. Yeah, absolutely. Um, We can't guarantee the price is going to be the Mm same. Um, It may end up being more expensive because summer is an expensive time to do events here because it's busier. very popular yeah um so we run into those issues during the summer months as yeah well. we can usually get better deals on things you would the think season. yeah you would think it would be the opposite because people think of vermont and snow and and you know that kind of thing but it's it's actually you know especially in burlington because it's um there's no skiing. it's right on the lake yeah. and cold um <laughs> It's, in the summer, it's beautiful, and it yeah. stays really, really busy. Yeah. Um, we're in a very big tourist. I mean, the whole state whole is state's tourist, tourist state, economy. So, yep. Um, anyway. Anyway. But we're not there yet. Nope. We will definitely keep you posted. Nope. So don't – never fear. Yeah. Um, don't, don't give up hope don't on our – give up hope. <laughs> we'll, we'll have something. On the retreat. Yep. And um, so we have one cow going right now. Oh, our, my God. Just one? I know. <laughs> I know. Don't worry. There's another one that I've listed that I think is going to be super fun. Um, so we're again. Oops. Oopsie. I got too excited and I lost my stitch. Uh, so the Mitten Tree, it's a charity knit. I did post up a bundle uh, on our Ravelry page. So if you needed some inspiration or suggestions for patterns, mm-hmm. I. Oh, those aren't the same length. Oh, well. <laughs> Whatever. It's a tube sock. It's a tube sock. It's a tube sock for my kid. It doesn't matter. Um, Take a look at the bundle. I've called it the Mitten Tree Bundle, and I basically just threw up a bunch of my favorite patterns for mittens and hats. 
Uh, so take a look if you need some inspiration. There's nice. lots of different choices in there. Oh, I'll have to add some of mine. Yeah, too. you. I think I gave you and Jen ability to add patterns. So. Sweet. Yeah. So do that. So that's running through the end of November. Um, there's already a bunch of things posted in the finished I objects know. thread, which is Those amazing. Awesome. Um, we so. do have some yarn in store mm -hmm. um, that people, some very kind customers, and I know we've gone through our stashes. I've yep. got a bunch at home i got to bring in. Yep. But anyway, um, we've got yarn available, so if you want to try out some different yarn, you don't have a yarn stash, but you want to knit some stuff for the mitten tree, yep. um, we do have some yarn available here. Yep. Um, we just do ask that if you take yarn from the bin that you use it for charity knitting. Yep. More specifically, the mitten tree would be nice, but... <laughs> but just general charity knitting yeah. would was will work as well yeah all right so here's our upcoming cowl i haven't run this by anybody so you know the rules will probably change <laughs> at some point uh so i'm calling this the holiday along and so i don't misspeak i'm gonna pull my show notes out here where i can see them so oh. Not, oh hidden by the the tripod leg all right holiday along i'm gonna okay. start at november 1st so you got some time Get, get your stuff together. Not long, though. My gosh, November 1st is like I less know. than two weeks away. I know. It's crazy. Yep. All right. Um, and it will run through the end of December. Okay. Okay. Holiday season. So here's the rules. Okay. Whips are allowed. Mm -hmm. Non-knitting slash crocheting items are allowed. Oh. In the finished objects thread... Explain with your photo how the item represents the holidays to you. Okay. So here's some suggestions of what this could be if you need some or get creative. And you know how we are loosey-goosey with the rules. Like if it relates in any way and you can justify it, it probably counts. Um, so this could be some gift knitting, gift crocheting, maybe something okay. you're making for somebody else. Um, this could be a special meal or maybe a food mm. thing that represents the holidays for you, right? So food, right, with non-knitting stuff. So if you make like a special bread or snacks or yeah. food, meal, yeah. that would be yeah. really cool. I like yeah. that. Centerpiece. Centerpiece. Um, this could be some tradition that mm. your family has started. Uh, and what I threw into the show notes is a couple of years ago, I, along with my mom and my uh, son, so William at the time, uh, created an advent calendar that right. is, has, the calendar part is all handmade ornaments. Very cool. I knit some, my mom crocheted some. Mouse parts. Um, mouse parts. <laughs> few, yeah, mouse parts. That's, that knit, was. Knit ones. Yeah, that was during that time. <laughs> Um, he and I made some, so we went to like Michael's and got some little kit ornament kits. And then my husband actually made the advent tree. Oh, cool! Out of wood, uh, with little hooks on it. So we just we pull an ornament out of the bag every day and we put an ornament on the tree. Nice, that's cute. Yeah, I like that. So something like that, like it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be that elaborate. Like that was a huge project, because not only did we make a set for ourselves, but we that's made right. a second set that we sent to my niece. Yep. Um, right. She didn't get the tree because we weren't going to ship that <laughs> across the country, but she got a set of ornaments. Yeah. Um, so those are a few suggestions I came up with. Nice. Uh, we'll start a chatter thread. People can throw out other suggestions, but this is, you know, be creative. Yeah. I just, I want to share the holiday spirit. I want to share people's traditions. That's fun. I always um, like hearing what people's traditions yeah. are. What, what do you do? Like for me, we could post our, our holiday duck. During at least the Christmas holidays, we always have a roast duck. Yeah. Um, you know, so maybe it's something like that. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've seen my duck a couple of times. So I take <laughs> pictures along the way because I'm really excited. It's fun to cook a duck. <laughs> a duck is very delicious. Um, so just, you know, maybe it's that special pie or maybe it's that special breakfast that you have in the morning. Um, and we're spanning, at least here in the United States, a couple of different holiday seasons mm -hmm. um, between Thanksgiving and then um, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, like the whole yep. whole gamut there um, between now and the end of December. I think I caught them all during that time frame. Festivus. 
Festivus. If you're a Seinfeld fan, totally you totally applies know through what the whole thing. We're talking about if for some reason I've missed a holiday that need and, and the cow needs to get extended a little bit to cover something in early January, please let me know and I'm happy to do that. But I think I've caught most of them during that time frame. Airing of the grievances. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> also known as every holiday event ever. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so that's the new um the new call it holiday along excellent holiday along so it would be fun that would because it fun. doesn't necessarily have mm-hmm. to be knitting content or crochet content mm-hmm. totally can totally can but, but it can be if other you love stuff cooking too. it can go in that if you're or just doing crafting in needle general point, right or like kelly said if you're making a centerpiece or maybe you make a fun wreath for your door or yeah. some people do do them every year making yeah. new ones every year yeah which is really cool yeah or one to give to somebody else, yeah. or whatever, whatever it is that you're. It, whatever it is all you're counts. Doing. And if you th- and if you're not sure, we we have a really low bar here, so <laughs> I don't think I've I think I've only said no once mm. with somebody asking me a question about does this count? That's pretty for good. a net along. I think that's pretty impressive. That's pretty good. Yeah. Excellent. Yep. I like it. Yep. So there you go. And you know there'll be a few more in the works. That's a very low key. But I alarm. yeah, I know a lot of people do gift knitting and I didn't want to add stress. And so this is a way that maybe you can do both. If you're already gift knitting, you can enter your stuff into this knit along or this yeah. holiday along and it counts. Right. So but you can also do other stuff. Mm-hmm. So and then it will give me some time to come up with some new ones to start the year with. So nice. Yeah. Cool. That's so, um, new in store, we don't have tons new, but we did just get a big shipment of Lorna's laces. We have not carried Lorna's laces before, um, but Amanda, who is the current owner of Lorna's laces, um, she's been at the helm, I think, for like five years now okay. and worked for them before. Um, she was kind of doing a whirlwind tour of New England and mm-hmm. stopped by and showed me all the beautiful yarns and <laughs> I had to narrow it down. And, and then one thing led to another. Yeah, one and thing then pretty soon a giant box showed up with yarn in it. Right. Um, but I got a bunch of mini skeins. They're beautiful. A lot of solids, but um, at least one kind of speckly one. Nice. Um, so they'll be great for heels, toes, cuffs, or if you just need a little bit of color work, um, you know, just one little skein. So I've got those. Um, nice. We've got some beautiful worsted weight hand painted yarns that came to, um, you know, you don't see worsted weight as often in some of the hand paints. So yep. I thought it'd be fun to kind of beef that up a little nice. bit. Um, great for hats, mittens, sweaters. Mm-hmm. Um, towels, all kinds of accessories. And there's this, we've found, Ange and I have been doing, you know, the worsted weight shawls. They are so fun to do. Yeah. There's some beautiful ones out there. So, um, so keep an eye out on the website for that. It'll, we're going to, I'm going to try to get that up, um, fairly soon. I don't know if it's going to happen or not before Rhinebeck. Um, but by, you know, midweek next week for sure. So, um, we've got some really lovely stuff from Lorna's nice. Laces. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's exciting. Yeah. So I think that's about that's about what we got. Nice. I know. Nice. Cool. Are you getting engaged? I'm just checking. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> I'm not worried. Okay. I'm not worried. Okay. It's just a hat after it's all. It's a hat. It's just a sweater after all. <laughs> Sweaters I do check gauge for. Mm-hmm. Actually, I will probably, if I get time this evening, um, there's a new sweater that I'm going to start. Mm-hmm. Um, what's it called? Little Twigs, I think is what it's called. I think I mentioned it. Did I put it on there? No, I didn't mm-hmm. put it on there. Um, and I'm going to use Wing and a Prayer Farm, um, all the single ladies. Nice. And it's um, a Shetland, a beautiful gray Shetland um, that I'm going to use. And I think that sweater will do it justice. Although I was looking at, because um, Jenny of um, Tiny Paper Foxes, Jenny, um, 
Handmaid and Wallace. Handmaid and Wallace. Handmaid and Wallace. Yeah. Um, she had on her wicker work sweater mm, not too long ago. I saw I, that. that sweater is beautiful. So I might have to choices. Choices. I know. Um, and then uh, Katie of Inside Number Twenty Three has made that before, and hers is really beautiful too. So, and they both wore theirs fairly recently on their podcasts or um, or Instagram feeds or something. I think yeah. it was both on their podcast, but because Jenny just did one um, not too long ago and introduced the sheep to us all. Yes, and they're gonna be at um, yeah, they're gonna be helping out helping Tammy. Tammy, yeah. Of wing and a prayer. So, anyway, I have to decide. I have to decide because I think both of them would do that yarn justice and it would be beautiful in either. Um, so, maybe I'll swatch. I'll look at the gauge and um, recommend a gauge for those two sweaters and I'll swatch and see what I like. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And go from there. Excellent. And I'll keep you posted. Sounds good. Excellent. All right, well, I should probably get a skedaddle on here so I can get yep. this edited and posted um, and actually get some work done because <laughs> I got a pile of it Excellent. to do. Well, so. we shall wrap it up, and I shall see Angela tomorrow morning bright and early. Yep. And we'll see some of you guys at Rhinebeck this weekend. Be sure to come and say hi to us. Yes. We love catching up with everybody Absolutely. and meeting you guys. Um not just Rhinebeck, but, you know. Just in general. Indie Entangled or Needles Up. Yep. If you see us there, too, yep. um, come and say hi. Exactly. And for those of that you that we won't catch up with then, um, we hope you have a great weekend. And we'll meet you sometime. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Um, so... So People I'm are too- going to get so sick of me wearing my Paris in Berlin, but it's, it's okay. Did you see that Chelsea's starting to make one? Is she? She told me yeah. she was going to. Or she was talking about it on their last podcast. Oh. No, I haven't watched the whole thing yet. <laughs> my chair all the way over there, and I can't even reach it. Super long, stretch arm, strong arms. Go, go, gadget arms. Mm-hmm. Dun, 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 Inspector Gadget, I just dated myself. I know, right? That awesome, funny cartoon that was. I caught it every once in a while. It wasn't one of my favorites. We got to watch it when we would go someplace that had cable because we did not have cable. Look, I figured out my river. Ooh. I figured out my river. Ooh. It's it, it does look a little bit of a funky top, obviously, when you're wearing them. They're fine. They're you're changing. never going to yeah. see it. Yeah. But it's a little fussy. Brat. Oh, is it? Fussy? Super fiddly? I mean, the more I do it, the easier I'll get, but it's kind of fussy. Because you have to, like, take half the needles out, put your river on, put those needles in, crank a little bit, to, and then get those all synced up. And then when you're, if you're only doing short ribbing like I did, then you have to take the rubber needles out, put the other needles in, pop the yarn down over the other needles. I mean, it's still faster, obviously, than knitting yeah. it by hand, yeah. but. Um, so we'll have to leave a note for Pam and um, uh, Andrea to let them know about the pe- the pick and that it, it's a different percentage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because if we have people coming in. Coming in that are still, or that are here. I have um, to find my other FO. <clears throat> yes, Kelly has a pile of FOs today. Oh, look, here, you can have one now. Oh, thank you. Look, aren't these cute? Michael Hampton. Michael Hampton put these together for our um, people who are riding on the bus, our bus down to Rhinebeck. Um, he, it's great. It's got the little acorn caps and the yarn and the stuffing and the directions. And it's, what a cute little package. So cute. He does such an awesome job. So adorable. I'm super excited. I've seen the things in the Rhinebeck goodie bags for the bus, and I want to go on the bus. I know. We did a pretty... Oh, there it is. Kelly did a pretty amazing job. Because she's... I don't know about that. But. She's the rock star. See, you should change your tag to 
rock star, yarn rock star, <laughs> and meerkat herder, <laughs> meerkat. Or, meerk- or gauge, <laughs> gauge keeper, gauge keeper, <laughs> and see how many people correct you with, you know, that's not how you say about gauge. I could do right? gauge and gauge co- keeper, keeper of the gauges. Keeper of the gauges. <laughs> yes. Because we all have to have funny... Oh, my God. <laughs> now you see him. Now you don't. Um, can I just say I about died laughing when I saw Tiffany's post oh my God. yesterday. <laughs> so there are the some best. pocket meerkats out in the wild. Yes. And they're starting to make appearances... Um, on the intertubes. Oh my god. So go check out the hashtag. hashtag MLY Meerkat. Mm-hmm. Um, and I can't wait to see what we oh. end up with over the weekend. It's going to be so fun. I know. Because so hilarious. many more people are going to have them. Yeah, we're going to be handing them out like um, crazy. So come, Everybody who's going on the bus is getting one? Yeah. Come find us. Or come. if you're local, come into the store and pick one up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> We um we can't wait to see what you do with them. Oh my it's gosh, gonna be. I know. So I've sent. You've sent a lot. Three to Canada already. That's awesome. So we're gonna have a lot of Canadian meerkat following shenanigans. I love it. Me too. I love it. I'm glad we worked out a system that seems to be working okay. Yeah. Um. So just as a reminder, if you didn't catch the last episode, episode I can't even talk. If you want one of these dudes, gals. I believe meerkats are a matriarchal society, so that's actually fitting. That's perfect, because it's all women that own our store. Yes, so it's a perfect mascot for us. Mm -hmm. Um, So if you would like one of these lovely ladies. Yours can be a dude if you want. but Also known as the pocket meerkat, to play along on our Instagram game. Uh, You can get one of these a couple of ways. Uh, This weekend you can come find Kelly and I Mm -hmm. at the New York Sheep and Wool restaurant. needles up and now indie untangled later in the day i will be there Mm -hmm. i'm super excited uh, because some very generous viewers had uh, some tickets that they weren't using so we are now able to attend so thank you very much uh Mm -hmm. to christine and jonis love it um come find us and we will for as long as we have little goodie packs I put together, we will give those to you. And when we run out of those, we will have um, pocket mirror, just pocket just mirror the cats for you. available. Mm-hmm. Um, you can order mm-hmm. something from the store e- online if you're not local to us and put meerkat in the comments and we will include a qu- card in your order. Yep. Or if you just want to purchase a pocket meerkat, which is also fine, uh, you can send an email to hello at mustloveyarn.com. And we will send you an invoice uh, for the Pocket Meerkat. It's $1.50. Uh, we've included shipping if it's dom- being shipped domestically. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you if it's international, we will have to add shipping to that. And it's um, so I can send it in just a little envelope, and it's mm-hmm. like $1.15 for shipping. So I think it ends up being like $2.65. Two yes. $2.65. Two um, so. But we just we have to do that manually behind the scenes um, to do just that one item because of the way the shipping's working. Yeah. Uh, so that's those are the ways to get the pocket. Or meerkats. you can come in if you're yeah. shopping with us locally. Yeah, you can come in. We have you can pick them up. We have a bunch of them, and I'd love to have to go back to my printer in a very short time and be like, I need some more of those. He's like, you burned through a thousand already. I'd be like, yep, we did. <laughs> so. <sighs> That's what he gets for telling me he ran like a million of them. Mm-hmm. That would be a lot. I can't even. That would be a lot of meerkats. What that would look like. But he's um, great. He's like credit card size, so he can mm-hmm. fit in your wallet. Yep. Or if you have one of this like cell phone sleeves, mm-hmm. that'd be a good place to put them. Maybe we should get some muffle of yarn cell, cell phone, phone sleeves. sleeves for people mm-hmm. to put on the back of their phones. That would be fun. We can get those. That would be sweet. We should do that. Anyway. <laughs> We need to order some new bags anyway, so we do. just add that to the order right. while they're doing it. I would buy one of those. We could use them as giveaways. Mm-hmm. I'd do it. All right. Are we ready? 
I think we're How ready. did we talk for like eight minutes already? Almost eight minutes already. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. I have no ch- more Chuck shenanigans, so I appreciate all of you who enjoyed that story. <laughs> a lot of people, it resonated with I think with a, lot a lot of people were sympathetic to my plight um, and or have experienced similar things to themselves. <laughs> the mommy brain. Um, love the person who suggested that we should have, uh, there should be a return policy that's just <laughs> mommy brain. Yeah. Uh. <sighs> Yeah. All you have to say is mommy brain. Yep. <laughs> oh, no, okay. No problem. No further explanation needed. <clears throat> Got it. Understand completely. So. All right. Are we ready? We're ready. We keep saying that and then I derail. <laughs> derail. It's okay. Right. That's usually my job. Okay. I'm usually the good derailer. All right. That's yeah. fine. So, okay. Let me just do this little decrease row here. Look, I have, because I'm going to drill again. Look, I'm calling this apple cider donut. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, and before we get to, um, before we get to the regular podcast. The actual podcast. The actual podcast. Like, guys, we had snow this morning. Yeah, I know did. it's not very much. Some of you, I know, have had, had like, inches. Yeah, if you Accumulating were snow. In the mountains. That's all the snow we had. But I was excited. And my husband was like, no. I know. My kids saw that, and um, Abigail promptly wanted to try to go sledding. And I was like, no, <laughs> there's not enough snow. That's too cute. So, so my household is excited for the snow to come as well. So, All right. We should probably get this show on the road. Mm-hmm. We should. We should. Ten minutes in. <laughs> Ten minutes in. <laughs> Thank you.